Hi, this is Matt Kelso with Hackberry Tea, and I want to introduce you to our new YouTube channel. To start out, let me introduce myself. Like I said, I'm Matt Kelso. I'm the founder of Hackberry Tea. We started this business seven, eight years ago. It's kind of a, a side business within our coffee business, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But we've really grown to love tea. We've been excited about tea. We've learned a lot about tea, and so we are starting this YouTube channel. I hope you like and subscribe it and can track with us as we start to share with you some of the things we've learned about tea over the years. Before I get into a history of Hackberry Tea and a little bit of how we got started and even talk to you about our business. I think I need to take a step back and help introduce you to the tea industry as a whole. Some of you may or may not know that tea comes from a plant called the Camellia sinensis. The Camellia sinensis plant is the plant that all black, green, and white tea comes from. And this isn't a video to talk about the tea process. This isn't a video to go through how black tea is different than green tea. Those are to come, don't worry. This is a video to explain the process from like a 10,000 foot view. And so the Camellia sinensis plant is grown at origin. Generally, that's in China or India. That's where the vast majority of those plants are able to grow. They're grown in China or India, and in China and India, they do a lot of the processing, which is where it becomes black, green, or white tea. And then they ship that all over the world. Then when it hits, let's say the United States, you have different people within the United States that will take that tea and blend it. As I'm sure you're also aware, there's no such thing as like the apricot tea plant. There's something added to the tea to give it that apricot flavor. There's no such thing as an Earl Grey tea plant. They add something to the tea to make it Earl Grey tea. And that's the case with almost everything. There are very few teas that are actually traditional teas. We do offer those, we do love those, but the vast majority of teas are blended. So you have people that blend the teas. Then the next step in the process is to actually retail them, to sell them. People that are very good at logistics, people that are very good at packaging, people that are good at even selecting different teas and working with the blenders to get just the right flavors out, those are the people that retail them. And so that's their process. You've got the farmers that grow the plant, you have the processors, usually that's the same person, and then there's someone in the middle that exports them and gets them into the country. Then you have blenders that take those plants and create different flavor profiles of the, of the teas, and then you have the retailers. So now that you know that process, let me talk to you a little bit about the history of Hackberry Tea. In 2012, I was a home coffee roaster. I loved roasting coffee, but what I really enjoyed was drinks. I enjoyed producing a different kind of drink that just had an amazing flavor profile. And so we started Sagebrush Coffee at the end of 2012, really ramped it up in 2013, and it surprised us how well it was doing. As that business started to develop, I realized we were missing something. We were really missing one of my favorite drinks on the planet, which is tea. I love tea, I've drank tea since I was a kid. Um, if we have tea in the house, I drink it like water, and yet we're selling coffee and not tea. We wanted to add tea because it just kind of fits things that we love. The original plan was to have tea as a sub product on our coffee website. But as we started to develop it, we really realized that it just isn't a sub product. It needs to be its own thing. So the end of 2013, we decided to spin Hackberry Tea off outside of the Sagebrush Coffee umbrella and have it become its own thing. As we did that, we had to think about how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this well? What do we need to know about tea? And where do we want to integrate ourselves into that supply chain? We examined our skill sets and said, what are the things that we can add and the value that we add to the tea industry as a whole? Where can we fit into this really mature industry in a way that we have a value add? One of those areas, we feel like we have a pretty good palette. We can figure out where the best flavor profiles are. Take a series of good teas and pick the great ones out of that, or take a series of great teas and pick the amazing ones out of that. We felt like we knew how to do that well. We know we're great at logistics. I spent 20 years of my career in logistics. That's something we know how to do. And we feel like we don't just learn a lot about tea, but can actually communicate that well to everyone so that you guys can learn as much as we know about tea. As we listed off those areas of these are our strengths, and then we looked at the tea process as a whole, we realized that the best place for us to fit is probably in that curator of the tea process in the retailer side. We looked at blending and didn't feel like we really had the skill set to be able to insert ourselves right away in that area, but we could curate some of the best teas we could get our hands on and then bring those to you guys at a price that's affordable in a turnaround time that is really the best in the business. So what are the benefits to this as a business model? One of the benefits is we have a lot of flexibility. We're able to grab a tea, try it out, see if people like it, end up not using it, 
things that we love, we get to promote. Things that we're not sure about, we get to kind of test the waters with, and we can move from T to T very easily. That's really nice. Another benefit is we get to to really try all sorts of teas and pick the best ones in the world. We're not stuck with one or two suppliers because we have to buy hundreds of pounds of this tea just to be able to have it in, but we get to have more fresh tea, we get to have smaller batches, we get to be able to pick the best teas in the world and offer those, and that's what we try to do. Another benefit to this model is we have the time and opportunity and resources to become tea experts, and we have. Uh, we don't have to spend all of our time trying to deal with different supplier issues as it relates to essential oils and dried fruits and all of the different ingredients that go to into procuring teas. We get to use that time instead to become the tea experts in the world. And I feel like we've really done that over the last six or seven years. Our knowledge of tea stands as high as almost anyone that I've interacted with. And that's really helped us be able to even pick the bright teas that we want because we can know when you look at a silver needle tea and there's three different people that are offering it, what makes a silver needle a great tea? What makes the processing a great process? And so we've learned all of those little nuances and have been able to really develop this business into being one that offers premium teas at a very affordable price. Obviously, when you make a business decision, every business decision has its downsides. No matter where you are in the tea process, there's someone upstream unless you live in China or India and are actually farming the land There's someone upstream that you're dependent on for us We're dependent on the blenders a lot if one of those blenders decides that they want to discontinue a tea We have no choice. We have to discontinue a tea So we're always kind of balancing how much do we have can we store so that this tea can even last like six more months than the person ahead. And the downside is just managing your upstream relationships. That's a downside in every business, no matter where you are, but that has been a trick for us to manage. Given that, we've thought about whether we want to blend teas. We haven't really decided that we're going to go down that path. We feel like what we're doing, we're doing really well and we want to keep doing that. If you're looking for teas, I've, I recommend Hackberry Tea. I think we have a great pool of teas. I think we're doing a very good job of sourcing those teas and curating them and bringing them to you guys. I feel like we do a good job with the logistics side of things, and I'm really excited to see where we're able to grow this business over the next few years. One of those areas is with this YouTube channel that we're launching right now. Like I said, one of the benefits is becoming experts on tea. We have so much information. If you go to our website and read our blogs, we've written blog after blog after blog about tea. We have so much information in there, and we want to start bringing them to this medium. You'll see some of those blogs become YouTube videos. You'll see us add in content to this. Really one of our focal points this year is to be able to bring as much information about tea as we possibly can to you guys so that you can make the right buying decision. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe. We're trying to get as many subscribers as possible. We just launched this channel, and so we want to get some of the benefits and some of the indexing of YouTube. So please subscribe. Um, check the box for notifications. Go ahead and like this video. Help this video get seen as much as possible, and I hope you enjoyed it.